we could try to update the meta decks that have been hit and see how they would perform with the new ban list i think that's interesting so what we could do is we could make an up updated pearly list updated vanquish soul list with only one fenrir update the runic decks that i have dragons that kind of stuff right runic stun i'm not gonna update runic stun <laughs> that's the one thing i'm not gonna do all right we're not updating runic stun what the hell is wrong with you okay uh let's start with the easy ones which is the runic decks the runic decks for now i think i'm just going to remove one destruction and add one droplet I think it's as simple as that. And then actually for the bestial runic, I also have to replace chaos ruler. So we take out this and we add another, actually add another dispelling here. We have to cut the chaos ruler. And I guess we just place Scarlight. Or we play the harpy lady. Uh, yeah, let's play the harpy lady. like this uh okay easy clap runix fixed uh vanquish soul should be easy because you just take out one fenrir you still play i i believe you still play wraith soth fenrir rysart in this uh and you add what do i add I guess a second Valius because I can't search a second Earth with Fenrir anymore. That might matter. Maybe it's a second Valius. Why three Cartesia and Runic and not one like the YCS list? Uh, I've been talking about that in the past. The main reason is that in Master Duel, Cartesia is one of the better ways to play around a maxi because you can just pass on Cartesia and fuse on the opponent's turn. That's the main reason. Uh, okay. Labyrinth stays the same, right? They didn't do anything to Lab, did they? They didn't do anything to Lab. No. Uh, Pearly. Pearly loses Fenrir completely. I don't think you play... I, I can't think of a deck that still wants to play one Fenrir and no other cards. Like, no other cash cards. I think it's as simple as you will play Fenrir if your deck benefits from searching Rysart. Right? Like, um, like Vanquish Soul, for example. Vanquish Soul would play uh, Fenrir still. But I don't think... I don't think um, decks like Pearly would ever still play it. Alright, and what was it? It's too pretty one delicious that's so few memories man we i feel like we need um ways to make up for that consistency i don't know how though like you only have nine memory spells how do you friggin make up for that upstart i mean we can't we we'd have to cut prosperity for upstart which is like i don't even know if that's worth it man discard engine on the one hand i get what you're saying right you could play brow or beast right on the other hand if you don't draw a memory card which is now more likely than it used to be uh that is awful right desires works with three yeep i don't think it's worth it to do something like that because um desires is going to be limited and you don't want to change your deck that much for a limited card. That's just not a good idea, I don't think. Until we get the Sleepy Cat, it seems bad. I agree with you. I don't think uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe, maybe you do something like what I did at YCS uh, Dortmund, and you just play like uh, three Brow and a Shadow Beast. and cut the prosperity i don't know if i like this though but you could try this you could try that i don't i don't i'm not confident in in pearly after this though now the big now the big dog now the big 
the big issue okay we have to talk about this deck so dragon link is gonna lose chaos ruler i actually think hot take i don't know if it's a hot take but um i actually think that losing the baby dragon is more impactful than losing the chaos ruler like i think i think chaos ruler was good don't 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 get me wrong chaos ruler is really good but freaking there was a lot of lines that you could take instead like you could go for a savage uh play instead yeah i don't think it's that hard of a take actually uh but i think the baby dragon like literally removing the baby dragons from this deck is so big because it makes your they are the best extenders but not only that freaking i have to take three royal rares out of this deck because you also have to cut safer safer without the safer without the baby dragons doesn't make sense uh now you look at this deck and you're like chaos space while still you could play chaos space um searching lubelion is good searching but like searching levian is like you could still play it but then again full circle without uh chaos ruler it also makes chaos space a lot weaker because that was one of your best mills right and so like chaos space is now not as good anymore so you probably take those out it then like then now now there's a random levian here in here which you can't even really search except for with the magnamute which is probably still worth playing but it's a lot less consistent right like it's it's very weird uh a couple thoughts that i had that we can mess around with today and just see how they feel um i think you need without safer i feel like it's good to have another normal summon in the deck um but once again i want to say i don't think this deck is dead i don't think dragons are dead i think dragons are still very much playable um there are two main routes i could see myself going with dragons the first route is i think you could play it a little bit slower a little bit more controlly with a card like chamber dragon made um now this is kind of like a 2020 kind of vibes thing but this could be a good normal summon because it goes plus one on normal summon searches the trap whatever what is it called tidying right uh you play some amount of tidying right and you go normal summon dragon maid uh search tidying link it into striker dragon that kind of stuff which gives you a little bit of a better matchup into something like maxi because you obviously with not that many special summons you're going to be able to end on like trap plus seals or something like that which is a respectable opener um it gives you some grind game i think it's i think it's okay i think this is i think this would be an okay package to play uh the other option which is like something you would have to explore a little bit more is you could play like a chaos emperor dragon uh with the melody this is something we used to do in in chaos dragon chaos thunder sometimes with like melody of the awakening dragon uh which is like what was the other target for th for this diablos you could you could play diablos right why do i only have two of this uh, diablo right you could play something like this which is like i mean this card is good regardless right i'm not worried about this card being good or bad diablo diablos if a dark monster you control is tributed you can special summon this card from your grave so this card is like good in the grind game if you ever have if you ever get lubelion you can bring it back on your first turn right to rip a you rip a card out of their hand uh, you bring it back after using Lubelion, uh, and then with Branded Beast, you can you can get into like a really nice grind game because you can keep tributing Bestials for Branded Beast, and then the Diablos comes back on your opponent's turn. But it's like, I don't know. 
those cards are not starters that's the thing right none of this is a starter like even melody which is the one that like this card and add to even that isn't really a starter play unless you already have other things right so i think i would stay away from this for now but something like this already looks somewhat playable i still i think this is your best normal summon now and you just go for like a seal control kind of situation uh a tomb probably is good uh what do we cut for a tomb though i think you need two seals in this mm. one for one you could play one for one one for one it's so hard to find one for one uh let's go rarity i'm pretty sure it's an ultra Uh, cut access code i have a feeling that you could actually be you could actually cut access code maybe because the i think the most common way to otk with access code involved chaos ruler right that was one of the easier ways to put up 8,000 with access code was like, uh, make it with chaos ruler. And then it was 5,300 access code. And then the chaos ruler from the grave was the, the last damage you needed. So like, maybe you actually don't need access code anymore. You might end up missing it though. Maybe you don't need two striker dragons anymore. Maybe that's cope though. Because, like, without the baby dragons, you might not go into multiples as easily. I don't know. We can't try, we can't try dragon rulers today, Chad, because they're not legal yet. Chaos Angel without level 4 lights is kind of bad. Uh, you might be right. We could cut Chaos Angel. I like the card, but like maybe it's fine without it. You know what we're going to do? We're simply going to try it. I think that's the only thing we can do. I think we just have to try and see how it feels. I kind of think this is playable, but I have to see. Let's start with that. Now, uh, Cash Tira. What happens to Cash Tira? One Fenrir... Desires goes to one. Birth goes to one. Yeah, I'll show you what you do with Cash Tira. Hold up. Wonderful. Okay.